Hey guys, welcome to HFB. We are still in the Netherlands after our recent Champions League experience in Eindhoven. PSV played Sevilla that day, a really exciting one. Link one in the description should you be interested. It's the Dutch top flight this time at the DVC, round eight of it. We're gonna visit the oldest professional football club in the Netherlands, Sparta, Rotterdam. In today's game, they're up against 24 times Dutch champions, European Cup winners 1988. PSV Eindhoven. Some teams have already played in this round, as you see on the league table. With a 16.45 kickoff, Sparta against PSV is going to be the very last game on this match day. PSV won 7 out of 7, 100% win ratio, the perfect start to the season for them. The question is whether they can keep it up today. Sparta had an alright start, they are 7th now, they finished 6th last season. The last 10 head is not too promising for Sparta as they drew twice and PSV won 8 out of their last 10 meetings. The stadium of Sparta seems to be a beauty, it looks like a castle at the main entrance, hence the nickname of it, Head Castell. Looking forward to experiencing it. Right now I'm in a city near Rotterdam, so it's time to get on the train, let's go. As you see, we're quite close to the away section and I have a good friend with me here from Sweden. So you are from City and club you support? Hey, I'm from Malmö and I support Malmö. Is it your first time in Rotterdam? Yes, it is. What do you think about the environment of the club so far, Sparta? Pretty nice, we're close to the away section, uh, singing pretty loud. It was a quite expensive ticket price in my opinion for today, 40 euros, that's like almost Champions League but at least Europa League price. What do you think about that here in Neda DVC? Of course everyone was cheap ticket prices so uh, I think it's too expensive but I've also seen a lot worse but uh, yeah it's too much. Score prediction for today? 2-0 uh, uh, PSV.
beginning of the seventh made the corner combination. It was a pass back from uh, PSV. Clear shoot opportunity and hit the bar. Biggest chance of the game so far. End of the tenth minute, another crossbar hit for PSV. It is disallowed, in fact, there was a Sparta player laying on the ground. The referee didn't stop the game. PSV scored from a great header, by the way, from the, from a left side cross. But then they watched it back and they, uh, they found the PSV player guilty of fouling. So the goal is disallowed. Nail nail remains. And we are approaching the end of the first half. Here we have the end of the first half. We didn't see the best first half. PSV were dominant in position. They had a disallowed goal. They were dominating open play. Sparta were actually quick and slick on the counters. They could have made a goal from that, but PSV seems like a, a team which is confident, obviously, because <laughs> they're unbeaten in the league. But they're going to have a tough challenge the second half to, to break through the Sparta defense. PSV had two crossbar hits, but they will eventually need those balls to go in the net. We'll see about that. Let's start the second half. A short service announcement before we continue. Traveling to create football content is incredibly special, but it takes up a lot of time, effort and money. Please support my work by sending thanks below the video with an amount you choose or via the channel's Patreon page you see on screen and in the description. If you don't have the intention of sending money, please support HFV with a like, a share and a subscribe on the journey of creating educational football content. Thank you very much for your help and a special shout out to my hosts. If you're a teenager, you just ignore what I said and spend the amount on yourself, same what I did at your age. Don't forget to check out the channel's social media either. Let's carry on. from PSV this time. Luke Deng was really, really unselfish. Passed it to Malik Tillman, who did an audacious fake shot and just put it past the keeper really calmly. Nail one to league leaders, PSV.
59th minute, what a goal flying up to the top corner by Bakayoko. My reaction is the same as Ramayos, who was just shaking his hand, tuning in for PSV. Joyous away fans next to us, they came out to the second half with the attitude you need to have in these cases. And now, after one third of the second half, they are two goals up and they probably have the victory in their pockets. made a rebound, 3-0 PSV, that's 100% the game for them, we knew it before as well, they just imposed a real on the opposition, totally in the second half, and they are up by three goals, I think there is even one more to come in the remaining 10 minutes plus additional time. It seemed like a rifle one as well. Luke De Jong is going to take it to make it 4-0. With the rebound, no luck on Sparta's side at all today. They've been trying, but really, really unlucky today. And their supporters started to go home. We are gonna see a half empty stadium when the game finishes, which I'm always critical about. Like, I know it's this seems to be Sparta Rotterdam, sort of a gentleman's club, but still, stay till the final whistle, be there for your club. It's not the way to do it, not even if you're losing 4 0.
really must say, the ones behind the goal, standing there and clapping and basically celebrating as if they wouldn't have lost 4-0 or something, as if they would have got a point at least. Well, credit to them, because they not only stayed till the end, but they also gave their best, most of their support. So credit to those people. A tough challenge in the second half for PSV to break through Sparta's defense. That's what I said at halftime. As you saw, that wasn't happening at all. Sparta had no answer to PSV's quality in the second 45. That means a seventh place for the Castle residents and eight out of eight for the Eindhoven Giants. Right behind them are AZ, who beat Ajax 2-1 away. Ajax are a mess right now, and the club still hasn't fired their coach, Maurice Stein, which comes as a big surprise, actually. Now back to our game. It was an all right experience at Sparta. I blocked PSV for the second time in the space of a few days link one in the description as mentioned before i have a question to you guys please let me know about it in the comments the netherlands has stricter rules for supporters than any other country i've experienced before you have spikes on the fence around the away section it's shocking for me honestly it's a football game you're going to as far as i know not a prison are there any historical reasons for these rules you don't even have the chance to meet away supporters because they are coming exclusively by supporter buses if you come with your own car to an away game you're not let in as far as i know if i want to interview an away supporter before the game, that's literally mission impossible. Another topic, Eredivisie is a fantastic championship, but with all due respect, this ticket price is ridiculous. You go to Bundesliga games, for instance, for much cheaper, and we weren't even in the middle, we were at the corner flag for 40 euros. Not satisfied with this at all, but that's it with complaining and that's it with the video as well. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, join me on the channel's social media options on screen. For more vlogs from the Netherlands, check out the Netherlands playlist linked to in the description. I was HFV, see you in the next one. Goodbye.